Hi there everyone, this is Liz. A warm welcome back to this new video. Uh, today I'm going to do a new Q&A with my guides again and I have asked them a question and they have given me an answer that I channeled before I turned this video on and I'm going to read the answer to you. And I do recommend you, since it's very, the information can sometimes be very different or with a very high or broad perspective on things. So I do recommend you to, to either listen to the video twice to take it in or to listen and stop and listen and stop to the different segments in the text. So I hope this will um, give you some insights and let's see what they said. All right. My question was, can you talk a bit about perfectionism from your point of view? And the answer they gave me was this. Yes, we can share some things about this subject. Sometimes humans get entangled in different threads of energies that keeps them in a trap full of restrictions of themselves. From that point, you then start to get more and more wrapped in a feeling of trying to control some kind of outcome. So the natural flow within someone gets from that process more and more restricted. When natural flow of life gets to work freely, it can both create miracles and happy growth within a person. When you start to control the outcome out of fear or protection, for example, within a project or that everything looks right about your appearance all the time, or that you are trying to prevent bad things from happening in the future in, gen in general, you're not living in the present and in the joy of the creation. Sometimes perfectionism can easily be avoided by starting to be more allowing towards yourself. To let go of fears of being misunderstood or to be or look wrong. Allow things to flow more easily within you because there isn't anything as perfect. That would mean that there is something wrong. It is only alignment or not alignment that exists in you. And the alignment is only the life force expressing itself in its natural flow. It can't be anything else than its essence. But if you feel that you have a natural ability to attend to details that can be a gift though, that you are meant to work with in your life, Earth need both people who can look into details and create things that are needed with that kind of precision. And Earth need people who look at things from a broad and wide perspective as well, that can provide overviews, wholeness and visions. It all comes down to if doing something really well like in a so-called perfect way, is restricting or not within you. If it goes against your natural being of who you are in this life. But how do you know if perfection, perfectionism is a hinder for you or only a trait that you have that are meant to be used? How do you feel this difference? And we would say that you need to be honest regarding your mindset, how you think and act. 
Are you moving forward in life or are you or are things getting stuck because of you are trying to be perfect instead of trusting the flow of who you are and what you are trying to do? And if this need of being or doing perfect comes from lack of self-love or fear of the unknown, then we would say that it is restricting your life and your soul's true expression. We can often see this, that tendencies to perfectionism and restrictions of one's own life force gets easier by feeling more joy and happiness in life. You might have gotten into a bad circle in life where you have felt that things have been working against you for a long time and you have lost joy in everyday life. This can sometimes create fears that things will keep on going wrong and you start to prevent things or trying to prevent things by making sure of things. Some people can also have fears of criticism and to protect themselves that they are trying to minimize that from occurring. No matter what the reason is, be more loving towards yourself. You are a soul group on earth right now that need each other for the coming years ahead. And no one benefits from feeling extra burden when they are meant to break free and live more freely. So in a way, everyone needs to free themselves from the restrictions of a perfect you that always do the right things now to be able to create the new earth. If someone feels that you have a strike of trying to be or do things as perfect as you can because of an inner restricted reason, take a few breaths and be aware of yourself. Be in center of you, not in what your society have taught you. Be aware of the amazing soul that you are, how time is non-existent and that you are in the middle of creation and nothing that has been made of or exists in creation is wrong in any shape or form. And they also told me as a reminder here at the end that allowing yourself to be more free and experience more joy is the most effective factor is to implement um, more of, to be able to heal this area if there is an, um, uh, an unbalance within you. So that was the answer I was given today regarding perfectionism. And um, I hope this gave you something to think about. Um, I'm thinking and I'm feeling while I'm reading this text with them now, um, this free feeling that they are talking about that are really, it's not about becoming a perfect version of something. It's more about allowing your true essence that are <laughs> uh, exactly how it's supposed to be, to, to allow that to come forward and then everything will be as it's supposed to be, you know, like perfect the way that your essence are and how your soul wants you to express life through you in this life. So it's not about 
the perfectionism I can feel sometimes hinder that natural um, natural flow and free expression of ourselves because because we have so many uh, what do you say mm, like false guidelines and programmings from society from uh, our uh, childhood or whatever it comes from like this is uh, a good way to be or this is uh, how you should look to fit in or um, this is uh, how you should execute this work for it to to reach this um, goals or whatever and yeah we might have goals within a project or work <clears throat> but with uh, perfectionism fear fear automatically comes in and gives you a restricted feeling and um, don't allow the natural flow of your creativity work through you when you are executing your work or that project or uh, whatever it might be that needs your attention or that you want to to do really well so it's a fine line sometimes when you want to do something good but you don't want to be a, a perfectionist <laughs> you you just want to be natural in your own essence and let the the so-called perfect essence of you shine through and I think that's the freeing that they are talking about uh, and the only guideline we have here like they say the only way to tell if this is if something is too restricted is if it's uh, restricting your your <laughs> essence of who you are you know I think you know what I mean and what they know what what, what they are trying to tell us because um, you know no one can be an artist if they are perfectionists and no one can really since you know artists are more known to allow um, the life force run through them and they just create when they you know uh, zoom out and 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 be are are in that flow I paint myself so I know how it is when you get into that flow and you just let it be um, but when you start to control what what are supposed to come out to the to the canvas it can be really um, flat, you know. The motive can be to completely flat. That's a really good example. Thank you. <laughs> That's a really good example. So if you're painting or if you, you're someone who enjoys to watch and look at paintings and art, you can almost see when the, when the artists have actually been in their natural essence in their true selves expressing something from within or expressing from source or if they have tried to be perfect and create something um, as they should or as a art school have told them this is how you should do things and I'm not saying that art schools are wrong or that it's wrong to learn techniques. I'm not saying that. But um, the restrictions and, and um, <laughs> the feeling of things has to come out in a certain way can sometimes hinder our own creativity. So that's what I'm talking about. Does the painting look flat or does it actually looks or feels in your heart as it feels like this comes from an authentic feeling or source in within that person um, so and this is uh, when you when you um, 
participate in life with your authentic self. That's when it becomes good, you know? That's when it becomes what you are actually wanting to achieve. So be more allowing to who you are and what you are, um, no matter what that is for you. No one else can tell you what you should do in any what way. And it's okay to uh, practice on this. It's okay to be allowing during a process to change something, to change the way of thinking about yourself to way of changing uh, um, how you act in, in specific situations. If, if you think there's something within you that are not good enough or whatever it is. Um, we need practice sometimes of these things and it's okay. <laughs> you know, our essence and our souls uh, have this unconditional love that we come from and are so and the more we tap into that and and anchor ourselves more and more within we get to feel that feeling so when we stop listen within and connect with that source we feel this energy much more in our everyday life and these kind of things get less and less frequent you know those kind of feelings of things having to be in a certain way or look perfect or or develop perfect or whatever so uh, yeah that's my take on it as well um, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I will be back next week again with a new intuitive energy update. And as I said in the last video, we do celebrate Midsummer this week in Sweden. So happy Midsummer to every one of you and happy solstice. Thank you. Bye for now.